Now we come to another power definition. Um, we call this available power gain. So let's see what is the meaning of available power gain and how we can use this. So first we're going to talk about the equation and actually the definition of this uh, power gain. So this is uh, this is called GA and it's, it's equal to PAVN over PAVS. So let's see what is PAVN and PAVS. PAVS is the available power at the source. We are going to talk about this or we can also say that uh, the maximum power can be delivered to the network. So let's write this. So PAVS is available power at source because available AVS. So this is okay. This is actually equal to P max. The P max, uh, which is delivered to our network. So we can say P max uh, delivered to uh, network to let's say amplifier. So now we have to talk about the uh, PAVN. The PAVN is the the available power from the network so it means that if you want to uh, find the point for it is here so uh, what, what does it show it's very simple it can show the maximum power which can be delivered to the load so this is called uh, the av and the available power at our at the output of the network which is the maximum power again p max which can be this time delivered to our load or Z zl so this time this is uh, delivered to the load. So these are two very important definitions. We are going to talk about this more. So we said the available, available power gain is the ratio of power available from the two port network to the power available from the source. And uh, now for this one, we say it depends on ZS, but not ZL. So again, uh, you can, uh, in order to understand this, you can you can check the power flow this time. We go from this point. So we have a PAVS here and uh, we go up to the end of this uh, two port network. So this is PAVN. That's why we say that it doesn't depend on ZL, but it depends on ZS. Of course, if we change the ZS, the power delivered to this network is not going to be PAVS. So the power will drop here and then the gain is not going to be uh, equal to the previous case. So it depends on ZS because uh, the this gain depends on the input power which is delivered to the network and the input power delivered to the network depends on ZS as we talked before. Uh, but what about ZL? It doesn't depend on ZL. We are going to talk about this. It may seem a little bit confusing but uh, I'm going to explain it in the next slide. So when we say the available power, the max power, so this is P max at the output of this network. And this P max is independent of ZL. It doesn't depend. Uh, we just uh, want to have the matching case. If, if we have match, so when we have the, when we have this delivered power, when the Z out is uh, equal to ZL. So uh, we are going to have this delivery, the max power delivered to ZL, but the value of this max is constant. It doesn't depend on this, but the situation depends. So we say, if we want to deliver the max power to ZL, we have to have this, but uh, can we change the, the value of this P max? No, this P max actually shows the, you can understand this is like a, uh, the power of the max power of our network. The max power can this network give to the load and it doesn't depend on the load, the max power value. Of course, the, the power delivered to the load. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.